Hit me with that intro. I love wrestling. Check us out. And you, you love wrestling? wrestling? We love wrestling. Watch that shit, bitch. I'm even rapping. We love wrestling. 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 Yeah! I told you. Oh, we love wrestling. We are back. Welcome to Women in Wrestling. Ooh. Today. From the Carolinas. You might have seen her around. You may have seen her on AEW at a point. She faced one of my favorite people. Y'all know her, Sky Blue. Had a good match out here. She's been making waves. You know who we got today. We have Miss Brittany J. How are you doing, man? Good. How are you doing? I'm all right. You know what I'm saying? I'm chilling. Dora, you know, Dora in the bottom joining us. How are you doing today? Hi, I'm good. A little tired from work, but other than that, I'm good. So. Not the work tired. The work tired. Oh man. The Cheetos are done though. Just a heads up for everybody. Just everybody in North Carolina. We're gonna ask her our first question, but you know, she's your local emo girl, also. I think that's <laughs> on her uh Instagram. <laughs> um, if I'm wrong, but isn't that on your Instagram? Yeah, because um anytime I'm on dark, there's one wrestling mark that's always like the emo jobbers back, and I'm like, if I'm gonna use that, you're wrong. Yes, I like <laughs> The emo <laughs> I was like, you know what? Call me whatever you want. You're still watching me. What exactly? I heard that. So our first question we always ask. Let me bring up her Instagram. <laughs> I think I saw that on there earlier. But the first question I always ask is, why do you love wrestling? Slash, what started your love for wrestling? Oh gosh. Um. So like the first time I got into wrestling, I was I think maybe like five or six playing. Like, PlayStation 2 and I was like mom I'm so tired of this stupid game and her boyfriend at the time was like well pick from any of my games and I like ran to like all of his PlayStation 2 games looking at them and like I found Smackdown shut your mouth. I was like this looks so cool and they were like what are you talking about I was like look how cool this dude looks and like I put it in and like I started playing from there and then I got obsessed with wrestling that little video game I still have like the very original copy that his shelf because I of course I feel it like it's mine now. Yeah, that's yeah exactly. It's, now I feel that. Yeah, this this is our game now, but mostly mine. <laughs> but kick started it because like my parents never watched like sports or anything. But my mom's boyfriend was like, "Oh, pick for my games," and for no reason that stuck out to me. And I was, like, this is the one. Oh man, who was your favorite character to play with? Oh, this is so generic, but um. It was Jeff Hardy. Um, no, he's my crush for life. <laughs> Jeff Hardy is my crush for life. You know this. Yes. No, I love the Hardy boys. They're my favorite. <laughs> They're so sweet. And came full circle because one of the times I was at Dark, I was back beside like, in like talent viewing. Like I felt like somebody sitting next to me in the chair and I look over and it's Jeff Hardy and like. <sighs> I would have melted. I was, like, <laughs> I was like, what's happening right now? I was like, I need to text my dad. <laughs> That's so fun. I love that. Did you did you fan out or, did, or were you cool about it? I, I I hope I was cool to him. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, I know who you are. But I hopefully like my face like calm because I was like, oh yeah, I'm Brittany. Like I try to like play it off. Be cool and stuff. <laughs> didn't sell me out. That's so fun. So you find the SmackDown shut your mouth game. You playing that. How do you how do you get into wrestling and training for wrestling? Um, so I have this really defiant nature about me for then and after that, uh like it was like past like the attitude air and all that. So I would like watch it on YouTube and it was that match where the belt and Edge speared him from the belt all the way to like that and I looked at my I'm gonna do that one day. And my dad was like, No, you're not and being a defiant person, um, made it my goal. So after high school, I was like, I don't know what I wanna do and then I was like, I wanna wrestle. So I started like looking at wrestling schools in the area and I found house and we met and that's where it all started over some chicken tenders. Mm. 
I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Over some chicken. Oh, hey, my bad. I didn't mean to say I'm sorry like that. But, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> periods. But I found them. I found George South online, and I called him about uh, high spots. Mm. And he was like, "Oh yeah, like I trained Tessa, I trained Cedric, I trained Dark Journey, Savannah Evans." And he was like, "Come meet me at this Bojangles, baby." And I was like. Sounds sounds legit, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So we talked to a lot of people who've been trained by George South. I was being trained by him. He he was just recently, uh, I think one of the shows he was scissoring with the acclaimed and everything. <laughs> I got a huge pop, yeah. <laughs> I love George. Um, he's just so funny. Uh, he like very old school spots, but it's so fun. Like you'll lock up with somebody in the middle of the ring and then he'll go on a tangent about Jessica Simpson, but you better not drop that lock up. You better not drop it or doing 20 bumps and then you're getting right back to the lock up. Um, he talks about Jessica Simpson a lot, but he's a great trainer by the ring. Like he'll text us and be like, how's your day going, baby? And it's just so cute. I haven't heard that name in a, in a while. Jessica, she was the singer, right? <laughs> <laughs> Rush. Oh, <laughs> lady. Yeah. that's what's up. Okay, so Brittany, you said one of the first things you remember seeing is that uh, Jeff Hardy, you know, getting speared by Edge on the uh, from the ladder and everything. I gotta ask a question because I've seen some, Brittany. Are, are you trying to be a deathmatch wrestler? I, I really don't like a street fighter like that. Match. Um, I wouldn't be against it if I was ever booked for it. Um, I did get busted open accidentally in my match. And of course, I had to take pictures of that. But I would not against it. Okay, because I also saw, you know, the red rum on your stomach and everything. And I was like, what are we doing here? You know, is she trying to find <laughs> that way? What's going on with this? You know, I'm trying to find out, you know? Uh, <laughs> the mo yeah, that's exactly how people recognize me. Okay. But I've seen that tattoo and I'm like, good, good. It hurt a lot. So yeah. we we have seen it. Uh, let's explore a little bit more. This is where Dora comes in. She got some random questions to ask you. Yes. I don't know what the questions are, but let's go. I love it. Yes. Okay. I guess I'll start with this question because you were talking about the chicken tenders. Um, but what is your favorite meal? It can well, be anything, anything, literally anything. Um, I'm gonna be very basic and say spaghetti. That's um, fine. I love spaghetti. I love any kind of noodles. The noodles are fantastic, no matter. My uh, my grandmother uh was uh Italian, like off the boat, so like she would make me spaghetti. So like that's like my go-to like comfort food. Like if mm -hmm. I'm ever that hungry, I'm like, man, I don't know what to eat. Like, there's always spaghetti, man. Spaghetti is always a good option all the time. Like. <sighs> It's, it's oh. one of my favorites. Okay, um, like non wrestling related shows, like nothing like that. Like, what is your favorite show right now? I am what like I've been binging Stranger Things since it dropped. I am so obsessed. Like, I'm on the hype train with uh and, and Billy and all those little boys with the mullets. Like, mm -hmm. they, knew what they were doing. They knew what they were doing. Mm -hmm. Love no, under, I don't I don't watch it, but my children watch it. Um my eleven year old watches it so and she loves it. Like I always she comes and tries to talk to me and I'm like, what are we talking about? She's like, you just don't get it. And I'm like, that's fine. I don't I don't think I'm supposed to get it. It's not for me. It's not my place. So. You don't stand mom. Yeah, that's what she does. You don't get it, mom. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm that mom. That's oh, no. crazy now. <laughs> okay. Um, what is your favorite color to wear? Right now, it's, mm -hmm. but it's usually like whatever, hair, like whatever color matches at the time. Okay, okay, okay. I like it. I like it. Whatever responds with whatever decides to do. Um. Okay, this one's always tricky because I want to be a hippo, so I'm gonna start it like that. But um, <laughs> what animal um would you like to re be reincarnated as if you could be reincarnated as an animal? A hammer. Shark. Ooh, why hammerhead shark? I okay. So back when my dad was like, "You're not gonna be a wrestler," and I was like, for two whole seconds, I was like, "Okay, let me think realistically." For no reason, I was like, "Okay, marine biology," and like my. <laughs> like, 
So I have a lot of shark knowledge for zero reason. So, no. <laughs> so for no reason. Like I think behind my bookshelves, I have like a shark. Yeah. Um, like I've had like every stuff, uh, like type of like breed shark there is, but I would say hammerhead shark. No, I had a lot of friends who wanted to be marine biologists and I originally wanted to be a vet. And then I just realized like, I don't think that was for me. I remember like we all went into it, like we're going to do this. And we went into like the animal sciences and all of that. And none of us are doing that at all. None of us. <laughs> Not a marine biologist or v veterinarian between any of the four or five of us. So, we all like signed up where we're like, yeah, we love animals, and then we realize everything it takes, and we're like, I'm gonna love them from afar. Yeah, yeah, I love this cat or this dog that I can have in my house, and that's it. That's, that's my compassion. Go to a zoo. Yes, exactly. I can get a pet. That's it. Okay, the last question is what who or what is the one thing that can always make you smile like when you're having the worst day starbucks Star I'm but like i'm as basic white girl as yeah it's like i'll just roll up to like my starbucks around my like, house and they're like good morning Brittany." and I'm like, ah! you gotta do the target and starbucks run all the time that's my favorite you have to do target like, I don't oh like she said starbucks Starbucks. I thought she said Starbucks. I was gonna say what? Is that you were confused? Yeah, like, what the hell is Starbucks? Like, damn. Okay. No coffee. Coffee. What do you mean? Now, uh, she sent out a tweet earlier today or yesterday. I think I came across the Twitter page. Um, she she was trashing pumpkin spice, and I was totally for it. Um. <laughs> She's yeah. like, wait, no, don't look it up. <laughs> that tweet, because I was like, the apple crisp macchiato is better than the pumpkin spice. And they responded, and like, I marked out at work. I was like, uh, funny, I'm a barista as well. And I was at work, and I was like, look, Starbucks just responded to my tweet about the apple crisp macchiato. And everybody just looked at me, and I was like, never mind. <laughs> Y'all don't get it. They don't get it. It's okay. They don't have to get it. That's I was like, I understand. <laughs> Yo, so I got to ask you, Brittany. Uh, oh, were you done, Dora? Yes, we're done. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was my question. Oh, okay. So, Brittany, she asked you those questions. Let me ask you. When you're on the road, how many times, say you got a weekend show coming up, weekend Friday through Sunday, how many times would you go to Starbucks in that weekend? <laughs> my God, that's embarrassing. Maybe like five. Five times? You gotta like you got morning and like if you're close to the show and you're just fighting for your life like by Saturday and Sunday you're doing you're just over it. and like you just really need to get through it even if it's just like an emotional support ice chai like you, you yeah uh, I've never had it so I don't know I, you gotta try it you just don't understand it that's why I I tried coffee once in life and it wasn't it for me um. And when I go to Starbucks, I, they used to have what's called the caramel apple cider, but it's called the apple whatever now. Um, so that's the only thing they can get me on. Yeah, I'm not a that's it coffee guy yet. Nah, not at all. It's not for everybody. <clears throat> mm -mm, nope, nope. It took me. I just started liking coffee these past two years, so I I get it. I definitely didn't like it, but. I just I'm on the iced coffee now with all these with these jobs I've had. I have to. It'll grow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Brittany, I'm gonna ask you a serious question here. Okay, I love it. This this is very serious. Right. Between yourself and Alex Zane, who likes Taco Bell more? <laughs> oh. I want to say it's like 50 50 because like i don't want to diss his love for taco bell but like i have just been a taco bell fiend since i can remember like i used to like roll up uh when i was 16 i had three jobs because i wanted to follow warp tour uh like for a week straight my dad was like you can do it if you afford everything so i had three jobs afford it and i Taco Bell conveniently was located in between all of those jobs and I'd roll up and the manager would be like, here comes trouble, Brittany, and I'd be like, yeah, thank you. And it, it just got worse for me, man. 
That's a good commitment, though. I wish I could have done that because my dad would not have let me do any of that. No, or my mom. They would have been like, nope, you're in the house. That's it. You're not going to a warp tour. What's that? No. So chill. I would have loved it. That sounds that fun. You can afford everything on your own and you share your location. With me. Like, I'm more than going. I was like, oh, thanks, Pops. Oh, lucky, lucky, lucky. <laughs> Going through all this, let gotta talk a little bit about wrestling. You know, a little bit of wrestling, but that's what we do here. Mm-hmm. Brittany, who was your toughest opponent so far? Ooh. I am always, always gonna say I'll let Envy, mm. my best friend, but she is my toughest opponent. Nobody has hit me harder in that in that ring. Would she be the first person to bust your ass? Also. Probably. It was the match where I did that bloody nose, but to break to break character out, it was my fault where my nose got busted open. And when we got to the back, she was like, I'm so sorry. I was like, <laughs> it to myself. Like, this is awkward. Mm. <laughs> Not doing it to yourself. Uh, if you had to pick a tag team partner, you might have one. Who would your tag team partner be? Oh, okay. Okay, so... Um, I've tagged with BoJack before, uh, and we called ourselves Hoot and Holler. That will always hold a special spot. Yeah. Um, but also, back to Ella, we've always wanted to, like, tag and do Punk Goes Pop. Like, all those albums where, like, rock bands kind of, like, make songs. We yeah. want to do that because I have my vibe, and she has her, like, princess vibe. So whenever people are done with us feuding, we would love to tag someday. Punk yeah. So cute. That sounds adorable. So let's tie this in. So the person we had on last week, and you guys saw on uh, Women in Wrestling, Jada Stone. Yes. Uh, <laughs> They've been putting us together at Action uh, Wrestling, where we train out of, and I have become so fond of her. Little Team Jade Stone over here. Um, I asked her about tagging with you. She said we only did it once, but she was like. That's all we need. She said what she said. Uh, did y'all just have a match or you have a match coming up? I think we talked about. We just had um, another match. Uh, we've tagged once. And, um, they brought us back again and we were more cohesive. Like we came out together. We did some tag team stuff. And keep an eye on Action Pack Wrestling because we'll be doing some stuff on the set. Well, Team Jake's back again. October 7th? Yes. That's this weekend, people, when you're watching this. So, you know, this weekend, check out. Oh, Action Pack I was like, no, it's next week. No. <laughs> I'm not going to cut that out. It's this weekend, people. Uh, but, yeah. Oh, they're world champion, if you don't know, on game. Great high and intense. But, you know, that that's a little bit action pack. Check it out. Brittany, okay. Here we go. This, this Now, this is actually a serious question here. Um. <clears throat> This will determine how this interview goes from this point. So I'm going to lean in a bit. That's not true. Don't say it like that. That's not it, true. It does. No. There's, no right, there's no right or wrong answer, though, but it determines how this interview turns out from this point <laughs> after this answer. <sighs> the Rock of Stone Coat. Stone Cold. Yay! That's it. Yeah. That was my pick. That was like Did I do? <laughs> Stone Cold, guys. There's no right or wrong answer. Yeah. But it's so cold. But uh, we're 1916. Stone Cold's coming back up. Yes, um, I did. It's not even because I don't like The Rock. I love The Rock once again. Every show I say that. But I just, my preference is Stone Cold every time. The word keeps talking on it, guys. That's the end of the interview. Uh, we like thank Brittany for coming. She picked Stone Cold and we eat now just for <laughs> answer correctly we don't want to ruin it no it's no right or wrong answer uh we just love to see where people mind that stone cold and the rock you know one and one a if you put it like that it don't matter which one you pick Uh, we just go there um no i'm not not gonna ask that um i do ask this question though because it's very insightful and I just need to know uh, how, how you're doing with it. If you had three people on the independent scene that you could have a match with, 
any three people, who would those three people be? Um, coming in hot and actually about this today. I love Sawyer Rag. I would love that death match. Oh, that, that's a lot of women that I have in a match. Six two out here. That's a tall and lady. Strong yeah. five one. So I love it. Oh, okay. good story there. Some. Um, I'd love to run my mentor, Santa Evans. Uh, trained together with George. Uh, we haven't had a match, though, which is like funny because any girl that comes from high spots, usually she's their first match. And finally, like, I think it was like me or the girl before me that broke tradition and we weren't her first, like, she wasn't our first match. I'd love to have my Savannah. Uh, I'd like to wrestle Chris Statlander again with a more of a time limit than we had last time. Mm. That was a very fun match. Uh, I'd love to have her side of AEW or more time limit in Do you have something to say, friend? What's up? <laughs> I'm trying to see how we can navigate this question. Um, how do you feel about the time limits given at AEW? Because I, me personally, every time I see a match, I'll be like, oh, cool. They own dark or they own dark elevation, but I would like to see it at an indie promotion. Yeah, I know. I totally get where, like, what you're saying. Um, I feel like we could have had a, like, a really solid, like, banger at, like, an indie Because uh, I think in that match, I got, like, in, which is totally fair. Like, that's whatever. It, like, it doesn't make sense for me to get over on Chris because I was literally looking up at her like, yeah, yeah. Um. I don't hate the time limits because uh, we are the dark matches. Uh, but there's some times where I'm just like, I had like a little bit more time because I was genuinely so much fun out there. Like I was genuinely having a good time in my match with Chris. I had a great time in my match with the guy. Like I was just having so much fun. I was like, no, I don't want to leave. I was like, I don't want it to be over. But I'd like to run some of those matches back, like on an indie production with like some more time because they were just fun. Like they're just great girls to work with. Like I haven't had a bad experience. W at all. Mm. I'm gonna ask Brittany a question. I'm gonna see if she even knows. Do you remember we briefly seen each other for a second? Hit Club Pro. Hit Club Pro. Don't play like that. <laughs> Don't yeah. play let, me, that. let me tell you about Hit Club Pro. It was hot in there. <laughs> it was so look, Dora. Mm -hmm. I wanted to talk to everybody in Hit Club Pro. But at a certain point, it was so hot and I was sweating. I was like, hey, what I came here to do was not very happen today. Yeah. Because I don't know what happened in that building. They didn't have any type of hair. But you was in a three-way match, a, a triple threat, we should say, with mm -hmm. Sadie Lee Most and Jasmine Hyatt. You had some great moves. I, I got a video coming for you. You'll see it. But how did you like that match? I had fun. I always have fun um, with Sadie, and it's always great seeing um, Jasmine because she did train with us at high spots before um, we lost the building. Um, she's training at a, I forgot the places, uh, the new place now. Uh, we don't train together anymore, but it's always good seeing Jasmine. We have a singles match finally um, coming up at the end of October and like a Monsters Brawl type of thing. Oh, so that sounds fun. And then I'm all, like, I text Sadie all the time. I'm like, hey, mom. Like, I know it's your gimmick, but you're my mom now. <laughs> but I had fun at the match. Um, I had fun at Hit Club. It was good to see everybody. Um, good to see Savannah. Uh, good to see Rayhan. Really good to see uh, Black, of course. And then, of course, Captain. Good environment. Hey, Hit Club. <laughs> she, 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 she waiting for a match with somebody. We in cahoots. Um, if y'all don't know, we are in cahoots with Hit Club Pro. But she wanted a match with somebody. Y'all know who she wanted that match with. You know, that's my person. She was our first person we had on here as a spotlight. You know what I'm saying? Savannah Evans. Let's make it happen. Brittany J versus Savannah Evans Hit Club Pro. I would love nothing more than that. Oh, <laughs> we can make it happen. We're going we gonna to talk about it. Uh, uh, Savannah. 
when you when you, never mind. Okay. You already know Savannah. Got the yeah, you gotta beat her up. No, uh, <laughs> just saying. She she was supposed to be Savannah first yeah. night coming out of high spot. You know, got to happen. Got to, got to. robbed of that. Every other girl got to wrestle Savannah. I was robbed. Got to be a big fight. Waiting to see it. Oh man. What's the one thing so far in wrestling that someone has told you that you have kept near and dear to you? We get a little serious. We get a little serious. I think it was, I was only on like my match. Um, and I was like literally shaking before I went out. And good old Ricky Morton or, um, came up behind me and put his hand on my shoulder. Like he's always known me. He was like, he was like, hey, baby, you excited? And I was like, yeah. And he was like, he was like, no matter what happens there, like, this is your dream. You need to go live it. He was like, when you go out there, you live your dream. And I was like, why am I taking it so seriously? Like, wrestling is serious to me, but I was like, I need to have fun out there. Yes. And I think that's kind of like one of my, like, I can, like, tell a difference. I, like, movements and everything from my first couple matches to, like, now, like, I was stutter stepping like crazy. Like you could tell I wasn't confident my first couple of matches. But then after Ricky was like, why don't you just go out there and have fun? And I was like, you know what? You you on to something there. On to something. I went out there and I was like, you know what? Wrestling's fun. I love this. And like I think that's kind of like where it like flips. But I always remember before I go out, like I'm behind the curtain and like I I'm like, I just take a deep breath. I'm like, let's have fun go out the curtain. But I always say let's have fun because Ricky said that to me and that's kind of when like I guess like my my one flip went up. I was like, okay. switch. I was like, okay. That's yes, like that. Let's have fun. Let's name a uh, one movie you would use to describe your wrestling career. What movie would that be? Oh my god! I want to be very big to say The Shining because across my stuff. Did you say The Shining? Yeah. You said, come on. What movie and then. Sorry. You gotta get it together. Wow. What's going on? But you got to get it together. Like the shining. What's what's going on out here, Brittany? A lot. A lot. That's a good movie. I don't know why you're against the answer. I like that. That's a good I answer. know it's a good movie, but so aggressive with all his movements, and I feel like whenever I throw a strike, like I have the axe man, I'm like, yeah. Like, I got it. I heard that. Uh oh. How long have you been wrestling? Um, I acted match for only like a year and a half. A year and a half? My goal is to hit 50 matches finally. So I've been like rapid fire everywhere. Like, please give me a shot. So fingers crossed I get matches. I'm still a little green bean. There's nothing wrong with that at all. Don't worry. You're doing amazing, friend. Yeah. Don't don't even yes don't don't let that question trip you up, friend. It doesn't matter how long. Shoot, you just love it. That's all that matters. We're doing amazing, but we gotta talk about something because I believe I've talked to everybody that was in this match, except for you. And yes, Brittany, I have been watching you for over a year or so in the ring. Mission Pro, talk about this Taco Festival match. Oh, yeah, with the renegade. <laughs> <laughs> what was going on? A lot. Um, that match was chaotic from the beginning. Um, because my tag partner was supposed to be Ella. Ella unfortunately caught COVID. Um, so of course, like she was, you know, making sure everybody was safe and she was cool so that she could get her test and everything. And if it come back positive, thank God she health in like her own mind so it catch it um it was just a lot of green people all in one ring um it was funny because me and um the last time i was down in orlando at the dark tapings um i was talking to char about it we, we just laughed about it we were like yeah that was not the best match but like cool to see how far like we've come like me and the renegades because um even though they're such a cohesive unit they, they were really like green um 
they were like too green to lead two other two green people. Cause I think that was like my maybe third match ever I got thrown into. Cause I think I was also somebody's replacement. They got COVID. And I was hit up last minute and I was like, oh no. <laughs> but there was a lot going on that match. It was hot. It was like four green girls that loved wrestling, trying their best. Um, the match did fall apart, but we, we got to where we needed to go. I, I did a little highlight clip of it. And uh, I remember everybody was saying, like, they extended the time on the match and we, we just didn't know what to do. And I was like, yeah, but it made me to start watching Brittany Jade and Lily or Little McKenzie or Amira Rose, uh, as she calls herself now. So, you know, got some good out of it because, you know, I've been I've been following watching your progression. So a year and a half in the ring. What's your outlook? What you want to What you want to do in wrestling? What, what, what's the dream? The dream is just a part of wrestling, like that. My dream since like I played that silly little video game is just to be a part of wrestling. But now that like I'm taking bond something, I want to bring rem- wrestling to every every show. I'm still seeing shows with not a single woman posters, and they're not even on it. And I'm so that full now. So like. Bring women's wrestling to every show because there's no reason there should be no women on your show. If you're paying triple digits to bring homie in from across the country, why can't you spend a little extra money to bring two girls from like a state over to your yeah. show? So like that's the goal. Me and Ella have been like really thinking, uh because Ella's training with me and we talk about it every time. We're like, this show still doesn't have women. We should send them our resume, really like push for it. And um this year, just this year, even though I'm still a little green bean, I've been women's wrestling to a show for the first time four different occasions so i'm like okay here i need to up that number so i want to hit eight the following year after that wrestling and just match to every we still matter there's been so much progression but i'm still seeing stuff where like there's no women's on the card and i'm like maybe it's because like i'm in the staff i'm still like come on I don't see Brittany been saying some stuff that might get me in trouble if I start talking on it. <laughs> um, but yeah, guys, um, still seeing those cards with no women's matches on it. Mm-hmm. Um, it needs to stop. I'm a big supporter of women's wrestling, mm-hmm. women's wrestling, women's wrestling. Uh, yeah, if Brittany's bringing women's wrestling to places, I love to see it. Yes. Uh-oh. I gotta keep putting over women's wrestling right quick. Women's wrestling. Women's wrestling. Yeah, he has a lot. He has a lot. It's women's lot. wrestling. With it. Women's wrestling. Oh. <laughs> yeah, because it's a lot, man. You know what I'm saying? I'll be out here with the women. I love it. Uh, I want to see more women on all cards. I want to see more women everywhere. Women's wrestling. Yes. Women's wrestling. Uh oh, where we at? Don't bend them because oh, I got two of them. Giveaway coming. You know, <laughs> That's a uh, promotion. <laughs> yeah. You know, old school women's wrestling. That's my shit. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to women's wrestling army. Have you have you talked to women's wrestling army, Brittany, to try to get in there? I they are. I have like this on my laptop. I have like long list of promotions I want to reach out to and they are on there and I'm slowly working my way down the list. Um, I've gotten the thumbs up from two bigger promotions that like feature mostly all women and I am so excited for those debuts later in the year. Super excited for that, but they are on they are on that little list. And I'm just like slowly working down that list. I'm like I want to be everywhere. I'm, like I'm still not the best, but I have a great attitude. So yeah. hope you're trying to spread the love. So <laughs> What's the next reason you're trying to go wrestling? Oh, I would actually love to make it to like the Midwest. Um, really want to make it out there. I really, I would really love to wrestle Blair Onyx out there. Would like that match. <laughs> Foreshadowing people. Mm-hmm. Um, I give y'all exclusive. I literally just talked to Blair on Saturday at Black Label Pro. She's coming on next. 
She just got over her arm injury. She's back in the ring. Started last weekend on Sunday, back in the ring. She got some more coming up. Brittany wants a match with Blair Onyx. Get it. Let's get it. <laughs> we no, just I mention something or cut this clip to play to Blair Onyx when she comes on. And she <laughs> Stop it. I think she's super great. Uh, I've um, been following her for a while and like, so funny like i think like the other week it was rather two weeks or last week she um like finally followed me back on everything messaged me she was like oh my god you're so cute i saw you on dark and i was like hey, for red i was like marking out at work i like screenshotted it and sent it to my trainer. i was like oh my god look i talk about her all the time in training i was like look what happened to me i love blair onyx i'm so obsessed you have to speak it into existence and you're doing fantastic apparently okay <laughs> You're doing great. I mean, yes. you're doing great. Um, th this is great. I, I, I love stuff like this. But, uh, hey, if the match happens, I don't know. I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? Maybe a little place in the Midwest. Because I'm in the Midwest. So maybe a place in the Midwest that that can happen. I'm just, I don't know. Um, but, let, let, Dora, before we go into these last two spots, because <laughs> we got to stop, I might say too much. Uh, is there any other question you have for Brittany? I can ask another random question. Oh, you got random qu more questions? Yeah, I always have questions. What do you mean? I leave my cards. Yes. I think of random thoughts all the time when I'm at work. Okay, let me see. <laughs> I'm so serious. I will give you, I will give you two more. <laughs> okay, okay. What's your favorite vegetable? Not this. Yes, this. Yes, this. Yes. Uh, I'm locked on zucchini. Zucchini? Yeah. <sighs> That's a good answer. I like that answer. <laughs> I like little zucchini fries. So good. Oh, that sounds good. Mine's tomatoes. Just, you know, it's tomatoes. Tomato, tomato. <laughs> They're not even that gross. It's, I know it's a weird texture. I totally get that. I, I understand. But, you know, you just kind of oh. just, just got to jump in there and eat it. That's all you have to do. Exactly. They just need to grow up. Tomato exactly. Um, what's another good one? Because I, I think I have the same thing here, so I don't want to do that one again. Um, this is probably controversial, but who is your favorite family member? Mm -mm, don't, don't see you trying to start a fight. Why? I'm just it's for, <laughs> I'm an inquiring mind. We're exploring her. She's allowed to have a favorite. My what dad. Do you mean? Hmm? Papa Jade. Oh, good. Yes. I like him, too, for letting you go to Warped Tour. He's my favorite as well. Just, I'm going to throw that out. Like, the coolest little single dad ever. Like, that was an easy, easy question. But he was <laughs> the coolest dad ever. Like, he raised, like, two daughters, like, on his own, and he had no problem with it. Oh, He's like, and he learned how to do hair real quick. Oh, my gosh. So, my dad had just, it, it, there's four of us, but he just really, when I was growing up, my sister's 12 years older than me. So it was just my two brothers and me. So when I had daughters, he had, he didn't know what to do, but he's doing real good. 11 years in with grandkids and my dad's doing great. So, yeah, cause that was tough. It's been tough for me too, since I grew up with my brother. So I was like, mm, I gotta learn how to be like a proper woman for my <laughs> children. Oh my gosh. Goodness. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Yes. Shut up. Whatever. <laughs> it's a proper woman. Okay. Goodness gracious. My fault. <laughs> um, another thing before we do this spot. I was at Hit Club Pro. And you know the one thing that I noticed when I left Hit Club Pro? Like I recorded the some of the matches and spots and everything. I took maybe three pictures. And then it was a picture that popped up from the end of the night that I don't even remember jumping into because it was so hot. And I was like, damn, I didn't take no pictures while I was out here. Mm -hmm. And that's something that, you know, gets me here because I usually have pictures that I take with people. But Brittany, next time I see you, I got you. We were both sweating, gross. Nobody needed that. No one needed touching. Like <laughs> Bro, like if you <laughs> go look at some of the pictures, you see the beads coming off my head. Oh my God. Like, no, it was so hot in there. And then I got inside the ring and I was, during my entrance, I was like, damn, I'm blown up right now. <laughs> I was like, this is bad. Yeah. 
I walked in, they was doing the uh, training section with Sean Dean and everything. And literally, I was in there for like three minutes and I was like, oh, no, like this, this for real? Yeah. I was like, it's no air at all? It was like, wow. I was like, oh, if y'all would have told me this on the phone, I wouldn't have came. Like, I just came from the Midwest to, to be high like this. And uh, like, no, nah, don't do this to me. But, uh, <laughs> uh, at that location, that location did not have air conditioner at all. So it's like perfect in the winter, but in the summer, I'm just like, please kill me. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, okay, I'm not even wearing my fishnet top tonight under the skin. <laughs> That's a, that's a killable moment in there. I mean, boy, uh, uh oh, we call this right here the put yourself over moment. This is where you let us know your social media ways the people can connect with you. Uh, if you got any shirts, ways people can support you, you know, buy your merch. If you got stickers out here, things that you have coming up, we just want you to put yourself over. Oh, easy enough. My handle on everything is at sad hooligan or just type in Brittany jade and i'll pop up i'm usually on instagram or twitter the most um that's where you can find me and then if you can't find another social media i'll have like a link tree and all of my bios to where you can like find my other videos. um i'm working on a big cartel store right now I got shirts printing but any show i got eight by ten let's buttons all that good stuff ready but i am working on a big cartel store to get even more products up so that'll be in that link tree. Something random just came to my head. And oh, I'm I've talked to a lot of wrestlers. I see a lot of wrestlers when I go out. So, Brittany, I'm going to ask you something. If you want to answer, it's cool. If you don't want to answer, it's all right. Eight by tens. I used to buy a lot of them, right? In like 2017, 18. Then at a point, I was like, "Yo, what am I doing with these eight by tens? Are the eight by tens profitable for you?" They are. A lot of um, the eight that water mark first. Um, like I like sign them even if they don't ask them. Sometimes I feel bad about that. I'm like, they wanted my nasty handwriting on them, but like I'll sign them. They take pictures, but I like selling the eight by tens. They sell pretty well. They're pretty proper. They up the they're like you have ten boxes probably like their dinner on the way home. They swing through tacos and whatever. <laughs> gotta they, plug it, gotta plug it. Wherever they end up. Yes. <laughs> they're like they'll stop by a little gas station, grab an energy drink with it. That little ten bucks does go a long way. Like low key, it really does help. Yeah, I wasn't gonna mention it. I haven't eaten Taco Bell in probably about eight years. Yeah, don't mention that. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's move past it then. Uh, no, no beef with Taco Bell, but Same, yeah. I don't know. I just I don't. I haven't eaten a lot of places in in some I years. Mean, fast food taco is a little suspicious, but I also just have a steel stomach, so I don't care. I'm gonna eat it. I'm gonna eat it. Ah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what's the one thing? That's perfectly legal that you're addicted to, Brittany. Mm. Something that's legal that I am addicted to. If I go back to Starbucks, I'm so white. Yeah. I'm gonna go back to I'm gonna go back to Starbucks. Yes, that's a good no, no. There's no, there's like literally no wrong answer. Cold brew just does things to me. Like I don't care what kind of day I'm having. I roll up and I'm like, oh my god, hey Cynthia. It's just like, hey Brittany, how's your day going? The usual. I'm like extra cinnamon pumpkin cream. Okay, <laughs> it's a great day. It's legal and everybody has fun. Okay. The regal beagle. The regal beagle. All right, last two questions, then we out of here. I'm gonna do the outro after this, but I'm gonna ask Brittany because she you just heard her say the warp tour when she was 16 and everything. She got to go to that. So, best concert that you have been to, and the one concert that you want to go to. Mm. I do go to a lot of concerts. I start I start counting it like when I hit a hundred. Uh I've actually worked at Hot Topic for 
right now in my old job position was to literally go to concerts. Like I'd get paid while I was there to like observe everything that they're wearing, observe everything the band's wearing. Sometimes like the backstage pass talk to them um so i've been to a lot of concerts this is tough i think one of the best live band i've seen i'm gonna go with 182 oh i'm so jealous i've always wanted to see them live 182 and this is so this is so bad but 303 they were really fun and then i've never seen corn and i need to fix that i really want to see corn Ooh, that would be. <sighs> I've never seen corn. They've always eluded me. Um, I've also really wanted to see My Chemical Romance. I bought tickets right before the pandemic, and then mm-hmm. I'm never gonna get those tickets back. Whatever. <sighs> I just gave you so many answers. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, I love all of them. You that- too. I was like, you got to keep going. We're going to have a whole thing. No, do not talk to me about music. I will not shut up. It's so bad. I mean, can uh, All right. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's so bad. I'm like best friends with all my favorite bands, too. Mm-hmm. Music has such a special place in my heart. Yeah, same, same. Uh I knew the bands you're talking about, but I, I can't say I really listen to their music. Okay. Um, hey, you don't? No, that's okay. I can't really say I've been, like, maybe the last year, I don't know, or two years since the pandemic happened, I haven't really been taking in music because I've i been working around the house and everything, and I'm just like, oh, uh, TV on, whatever, and I'm just at work. It's so much I don't have no music on, so I'm really out the loop right now. But, uh... That's okay. Got a lot of rap and R&B, uh... Some of the songs I do know come from being a wrestling fan, and then you know it goes on from there to listen to more. Uh, and then back in my high school days, but that was so long ago, it, I can't remember. Okay, but it was a lot back then in high school and college because you know that was when, uh, yeah, you know, all that good stuff. My first was yeah. Three Doors Down, so ah, as you should, it was good, it was so good. They had the fire, it was like the best. Oh my gosh, no, it was good. It was a, it was a good. See, my favorite, my best concert I went to was uh Jay Z and Beyonce, and I was right there on the aisle where they came walking by and everything. And I was like, Hope, oh my god, and I was really <laughs> screaming like Beyonce, and I was like, Oh, she right here, yeah. <laughs> And, you know, she touched one girl hand next to me, and I saw the girl fade, and I was like, oh, that's serious right here. And then she waved at me, and I was like, did she? Me? me? I, felt, I felt the moment that everybody around me was screaming, because I didn't know I was a Beyonce fan like that. Like, <laughs> I had met her when I was 17 at the uh, Indiana Expo, Black Expo back in the day, and when they was Destiny Child and everything, and I was like, you know, but for her to go, I was like, maybe I am a fan. And it just took me like, oh, she fine in person though. It's but, the ambiance. Um, you you just feel her energy. Their energy together. Of course, you're gonna love her once you see her. Like what starstruck? Yes, was I was a- starstruck. Oh yeah. man. Yes. Yeah, you were. Jeff Hardy had her starstruck. Who's is there another wrestler that gets you starstruck when you see him? I was really starstruck. I. I think it was my second time CW. Uh CM Punk just walked past me. It was like, hello. And I was like, I was like, did that just happen to me? I was like, I'm not partying out this. I was like, my dad again. <sighs> Lucky. See, you just got every see, friend, everything you're speaking is coming true. You have to keep going. You have to keep going. You have to, you gotta keep speaking oh. existence. Yeah, exactly. Gotta, like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the birthday queen. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to CM Punk out here in these streets. <laughs> Big Scorpio energy birthday twin. Miss you, bro. Be back on. Never mind. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> nah, I got a fun CM Punk story that's hilarious. We got into it at uh, C2E2, like maybe 2019. 
Mm-hmm. They was like, y'all got the same birthday. He was like, oh, you're probably younger than me. I was like, yeah, with your old ass. And we <laughs> back and forth for like three minutes. He was like, yeah, you you attend. I was like, yeah, you know, it was just great for the whole time. Uh, but oh man, Brittany, we gotta get you up out of here because uh, I, the, the earlier you said the the murder on your stomach. That's the actual tattoo. Yeah, it says. To use the bomb, but if I'm in a mirror, it says murder because that's how it was like displayed in like the movie. Because they're like, why is this? Why is this kid writing damn red rum yes. every time? Mm-hmm. They're like, oh, this is fucked up. <laughs> my bad, red why rum. Why am I saying this? Exactly. <laughs> so that's not in all my stomach. So it says, uh, just like the movie, it says red rum to y'all. And then I look in the mirror. I remember Savannah Evans actually stood up on one of the first times I took like a mirror selfie and put it on like my story or something. And she was like, haha, it says murder. I'm like, yeah. As soon as I saw the picture, that movie popped in my head. I don't remember what movie it was, but I was like, yo, why does she have murder on her stomach? I was like, no, it's red around. But I was like, no, she has murder on her stomach. But I was like, no, it's red around. Yeah, it's- but my mind kept saying she has murder on her stomach. Like, what's going on? Um, <laughs> That's so crazy. You know, you're someone else looking at it. So that's kind of like a little trick to tell which camera angle it was. Is if it says murder, red rock. Drink me murder Jade out here in these streets. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to take all y'all out. Thank you, you love me. Be- <laughs> 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 guys. <laughs> guys, this has been fun. Yeah. Dora, any last things before we get out of here with Brittany Jade? No, you were amazing. I love this. Thank you for coming. Thanks for letting me on here and yeah. ranking my life for forever. Letting you on here? What you mean, Brittany? <laughs> Thank right you for giving us the time to come yeah. on here. <laughs> you know, we appreciate everybody who gives us some time, come through and talk. We, yeah, I, I've said this before. We literally don't talk to anybody unless I somewhat like them. Like, Period. and that's basically it. Like, I don't bring. <laughs> I'm, I'm weird since you know we got no backing and we do all this ourselves. I don't bring nobody on if I haven't seen them wrestle live or if they don't have something that I'm just like, yo. That's it. One, it's a lot of people. Just never mind. Uh, hey guys. He was about to take a look. <laughs> 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 <Take a turn. laughs> <laughs> real quick. <laughs> We want to thank Brittany J for giving us this time. Maybe y'all hear that one day. I don't know if I ever go into that. Dora, you see her right here. New member, we love wrestling. She be out here cooking, right? This is like her fourth one. Ooh, get well, it. I can't remember the number, but yes. But you know, I'm Trey D. And like I always say, if I love wrestling and you love wrestling, then we love wrestling. It's too street. Nah. For the coach. If you love wrestling and you love wrestling, then we. You're not here, you missing out. Is this show? This is